Hello and welcome, I'm Matthew Dillon. I work for Hacklanger UK and I'm happy to be here today to present our new instructional video on process instrumentation. This video will focus upon some basic care and maintenance tips which we hope will help you in your daily work. So let me ask you, do you ever wonder what the correct installation for your process instrument is? Have you ever asked yourself what the regular maintenance is required to keep the instrument fully operational? Have you experienced problems understanding the error or warning messages given by the controllers? Don't know how to update to the latest software or what service packages are available? Well, I hope this video will answer some of these questions. Hacklanger continues to revolutionize how the world thinks about water analysis. So much of what we do every day is focused upon how we can make your job simpler whilst always providing the quality you have come to expect from Hacklanger. Thank you for being with us today. We want to answer any questions you may have and our technical support email address is on screen now. Also, we'd love to get some feedback from you on what you think of our products and services. Enjoy the video and thanks again. In this video, we will be covering the basic care and maintenance of our LDO probe. This will cover mounting kits, manual cleaning, warnings and errors, sensor cap change and air blast cleaning system. Mounting kits. With the Hacklanger LDO system several mounting options are available. Our handrail mount is our most popular mounting kit and is installed in one of two ways either on the top rung of the handrail via a fixing plate and a U-bolt assembly, giving an installation that can be angled into the lane or tank, or on the edge of the coping via a base plate to give a flush installation against the wall of the lane or tank. For the handrail version, a PVC block attaches to the handrail fixing plate via two fixing pins. For the second pin, you have a choice of holes in which to insert the fixing pin, which enables the customer to choose the angle that the LDO probe is set at. The mounting pole is slotted through the second half of the PVC block. The LDO probe screws into the bottom of the pole and its 10 metre cable travels up inside the pole and emerges out of the top through a gasket below a threaded end cap. The PVC mounting block has a swivel mechanism. This combined with a rest plate allows the customer to swivel the whole probe assembly through 90 degrees, allowing the customer to carry out inspection or cleaning duties. These are mainly used in tanks or lanes where the levels are changing. The ball float is attached via a 45 degree coupling to the normal handrail mounting kit and then the LDO probe screws into the bottom of the ball float. It is essential that when using the floating ball mounting kit you remove the second pin completely to allow the pole to pivot freely and the ball to float with the changing levels in the tank. These are used when the probe has to be extended into the tank or at a depth from the top of your handrail of more than two meters. They can be fixed to the vertical or horizontal poles of a handrail via a fixing plate and U-bolt assembly. Or it can be fixed to the coping at the side of the lane via a fixing plate. The chain travels through the horizontal pipe and attaches to the vertical pole holding the LDO probe. The probe itself is again screwed into the bottom of the pole and its cable travels up inside the pole and emerges out of the top through a gasket below a threaded end cap. The chain can be tied off via a slot in the horizontal fixed pipe, allowing the customer to set the overall depth of the LDO probe. With all installations like this, Hacklanger are very conscious of health and safety. Our customers should not feel they have to overreach or lift heavy weights when dealing with our probe installations. If you feel that the mounting kit provided is not suited for your type of installation, then call Hacklanger and we will be able to help, support and advise.
In the vast majority of applications, the LDO probe will give accurate readings assisted by manual cleaning. This is simply achieved by cleaning the cap with a wet sponge or non-abrasive cloth. If any errors or warnings are present on the LDO, this display will show the large exclamation mark intermittently flashing with the reading which also displays the smaller exclamation mark inside the triangle. Possible sensor errors will be displayed by the SC controller. The following conditions will cause a sensor error. Sensor calibration, relay timer washing cycle, or loss of communication. You need to clear the cause of the error and confirm the displayed error on the screen of the controller. Start from the main menu and highlight Sensor Setup and confirm. Highlight the correct sensor and confirm and then highlight Diagnostic Test and confirm. Then you highlight Amplitude Diagnostics and confirm again. The LEDs transmit light onto the inner surface of the sensor cap and the light is reflected back down to the detector inside the sensor. The amplitude increases as more light is reflected. Typical values are from 0.1 to 0.5. The alarm warning occurs at 0.01 to 0.03. Possible sensor warnings will be displayed by the SC controller. Clear the warning cause and confirm the displayed warning. A warning may be used to trigger a relay and users can set warning levels to define the severity of the warning. Warnings are defined in this table. The LDO cap is an integral part of the operation of the LDO probe. It houses the lumophore material which enables the probe to measure dissolved oxygen. If this lumophore is damaged or the cap reaches the end of its two-year life, it needs changing. In order to change the cap, take the probe out of its application and remove the old cap and its sealing ring. When you order a new cap, you will see both the cap and the new sealing ring. The sealing ring sits in the sealing groove and therefore you must ensure that the sealing groove is cleaned and free of debris to ensure a good fit. Place the sealing ring in its groove, finally fit and hand tighten the sensor cap. On your new sensor cap you will find a sensor code. You will need to enter this code into your SC controller. This enables the factory calibration of your cap to be uploaded into the controller and your LDO probe to operate correctly. You enter the code via the menu in your SC controller. You enter the code via the menu in your SC controller like this. Select the menu button and then select sensor setup. At this point, if you have more than one sensor connected, you would have needed to select the correct sensor. Now select configuration and then carry down through the menu until you find sensor code. You use the up and down arrows to change the character and the left and right arrows to select which character you wish to change. Once you've edited all the characters, press the Enter key. Your probe is now ready for operation. If the sensor code is entered incorrectly, sensor code invalid appears on the screen. At this point, please re-enter your code.
In the majority of applications, your LDO cap will last for the defined two-year period. However, in some applications, the LDO cap can wear quicker than normal. This will lead to an alarm of red amplitude low to appear on your controller. If your sensor cap was previously working up to this point, then this error message means that not enough light is being received by the photodiode in the probe meaning there is not enough lumophore on the cap to produce this light. This error should not occur until approximately 50% of the lumophore is worn away from the cap. We advise you visually check the cap at this point to confirm the situation and when confirmed replace the cap. If you have any doubt about this procedure or feel your cap has failed prematurely then contact Hacklanger and we will support you in every way we can. Hacklanger offers an optional air blast cleaning system for your LDO probe. It consists of a compressor with cleaning head, 7.6 metres of delivery hose and associated tie wraps. The interval and duration of cleaning are set from the SC controller as well as the ability of the system to hold outputs after each cleaning cycle is finished. This allows the air to dissipate and avoids erratic readings or spikes from the probe. If an alarm relay is needed for your cleaning system, then please let one of our sales consultants know at the time of quotation, as we can offer a reservoir type compressor that is able to give a failure alarm. The compressor will need a separate power supply and comes in a 100 or 240 volt version so please make sure that you have the right unit before installation begins. Do not extend the delivery hose beyond its standard 7.6 metre length to prevent exceeding the delivery capacity of the system or degrading the response time for the air delivery. On the inside of the compressor you will find the compressor, the air delivery system the power terminal block and the relay block. Here is how to set up the cleaning cycle. Press the menu button and select SC200 setup. Now select relay setup. Select the relay that is connected to your air blast system. Firstly select the source. This will need to be your controller. Under set function, check it is set to scheduler. This is the real time clock. The transfer will need to be active or inactive depending on whether you've connected to the normally open or the normally closed side of the relay. This will also need to be checked along with the fail safe. Under activation, firstly select how you wish the outputs to behave whilst the air cleaning is active. You can set the output mode as either held outputs or they're going to a fixed output value. For the channels, you can either hold all outputs or any associated to a particular probe. You can ask the system to run for a set days of the week or to start at a set time. The interval is the interval between the air blasts. Generally this would be set to every 30 minutes, although it can be set to every 60 minutes for cleaner applications. The duration is the duration of the air blast. Here 30 seconds is a common time. The off delay is the delay that the outputs are held for after the air cleaning has finished. Here we would recommend at least a minute for the readings to stabilise. Hi, my name is Sarah Campbell and I work in the Customer Relations Department at Hacklanger. 
We are here to advise customers about the level of service contracts Hacklanga offer to ensure the integrity of your instrumentation is maintained at all times. Should you wish to know more, please give the customer relations team a call and we will be more than happy to discuss the level of service contracts available to you.